Hello guys, it's Sakulabs! Welcome back to my channel! So if you're new here, hello, my name is Emily and I'm a French artist and YouTuber. In this week's video, I'm doing the so requested Draw This Again challenge. I have been thinking about doing this video for a long, long time and um, for some reason I just didn't really found um, a piece that I really wanted to redraw because I have thrown away a lot of artworks from 10 years ago and then most of the pieces that I've done afterwards were done digitally and it was kind of hard to actually find an, an old artwork but um, I actually remember, I don't know what when it was, but uh, I was searching through my old artworks and I um, saw this piece that I did um, a long time ago and I actually already did a, um, a draw this again for this little artwork, this girl, and I was so um, surprised because uh, I remember at the time, because I basically um, do this again <laughs> like 12 years ago and uh, it looked kind of nice but now with my new style and the improvement and everything I saw so many things that I can be improved on so I saw that on my old artwork folder and I was okay I'm sure this is the piece that I want to redraw so uh, that's basically what I've been doing today because um, like I said this piece is very old, the, the first attempt at doing this character that basically I have no name at first uh, was done in 2002, so that was, okay, math, 16 years ago, 16 years ago, that is a very old artwork, so I was a lot into manga and cute, I guess, manga artwork, um, watched a lot of Cardcaptor Sakura and all of that, and I was doing a lot more character with fashion, and I guess um, I can uh, link you in an iCard corner. I actually have a video where I showcase a lot of my old artworks, and a lot of those, um, I was still doing characters, but I was also having a lot of more fun, because I was changing the clothing a lot, I had more imagination for some reason at that time, and I didn't really care about the anatomy or it looking nice, I was just having fun. Whereas now I'm always picky and I'm always trying to fix things because I want them to look really nice. And so I am not as um, spontaneous, I suppose, than how I used to be 16 years ago. So yeah, that is the very, very old artwork. And then I read, um, I read it this uh, basically four years after and I did it digitally this time and because that was my um, this period of time where I was doing a lot a lot of artwork on computer and so I figured hey let's try this draw this again and see how improved I am so I kept the, the, the style it was still like manga basically and I changed a lot of things I mean the that to me is still off but I managed to do it a little bit better I suppose I still feel like um, arms were too too short and like she has very like there's no shape to her body somehow it's very strange and I kept a very steady pose and I very basically very very close to my first attempt um, the face changes the most the hair especially because um, she had very big head and I'm still kind of big into the six but that was a nice improvement now uh, like I said this was done t uh, 12 years ago for my last attempt at this character so of course um, it is pretty obvious that I will have some improvement but it was still quite challenging to be honest because I haven't done uh, this type of character in a very long time I usually I do portraits so that was quite different for me to do this uh, crop type of artwork um, basically cropped to mid legs and so um, I wanted to keep the pose somehow quite steady but also having more movement to it I also wanted to keep the general character design not change it too much so you can still know that this is the same kind like this is the same girl and also I didn't want her to look too old because the way I draw now um, where compared to this manga cute style of course the character is going to look slightly older but I still wanted her to be kind of like mid 
18, like 14 to 16 years old, not like a lot more. Um, don't know if I really made it work, but she definitely looks kind of young. And so what I did is basically I sketched a pose uh, using a few references from online, just nothing really uh, tremendous. I just googled a uh, photo like standing up or something like that. And then I um, fixed it on Photoshop and I actually did the line art and all the sketch and everything on Clip Studio Paint Pro because this is a lot faster and a lot easier for me to do uh, and like erase and crop and change the shapes and fix everything whereas like if I was doing it on paper I will have to sketch multiple times and erase all the time and it's going to be like really messy so yeah uh, thank god we have now tablets and photoshop and everything because this is saving a lot of time for artists anyway um, it took a while for me to figure out the pose at first the arms were both uh, laying you know next like basically um on what I, I can't even speak she had her arms just laying around you know pretty basic and uh i figured that it would be a little bit more i don't know just too stiff so i changed one arm and i actually put the hand behind her neck actually on her head basically and uh <laughs> the thing is though uh, it's pretty obvious that I can't even draw ants at that time, so actually hiding it is just the best way to... Don't even have to think about it. But it actually... So I basically um, tried to figure out the style of the clothing I wanted to have. I knew that I wanted to keep the jacket pretty much the same way. I just changed the way the sleeves are done because on my original idea, uh, she had like those really short sleeves kind of i mean it's not like it looks bad but it doesn't look like a nice jacket for me so what i did is actually um made it look like it's folded and then uh it's a three quarter sleeve that she had just basically folded and um got it tighter on her arms and so yeah i, I figured it would be nice but i still kept basically the same um design for the jacket for the rest of her clothing, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the actual dress or maybe turn it into a jean, like jean shorts. So what I did is actually, um, I sketched the dress first, uh, not the dress, the skirt first. And um, it didn't really look as nice as I wanted it to be. And so I realized that I actually probably should keep the tight, asymmetrical uh, design and had this uh flowy like fold i don't know what is it like shuffle i don't know <laughs> i don't even i can't i can't describe clothing you guys but just look at the picture in the drawing um uh, i kept a somehow similar design the ruffle that she has on her bra in the original drawing i had it to the skirt and then for a top i actually um wanted to have a bit of a at leisure kind of style sporty but also very sexy and uh yeah so that's basically what i did uh this like bralette like you know i, I mean i really like the clothing that i have picked it's a it's definitely modern it's not like a i don't know it's like i guess at leisure it looks it's very it's just it's kind of sexy but not too much i don't know i don't know but i liked it and i also changed a lot of the colors i kept it quite similar because i have the jeans and the purple and um the skirt also has a flower design it's, it's pretty much not like extremely different it's just the design of the clothing is different and for the jacket i didn't want to have uh, the same reddish um add-ons like to the hems and everything because i figured the red didn't really look nice with the rest of the artwork so i actually used yellow just to complement her hair color and then the biggest change i think that you can um definitely see is of course my drawing style because the face is completely different and the hair is also very very different now i wanted to keep it very close to the original design in a way that she definitely has a lot of hair they're also very bouncy i suppose yeah and i still kept a few loose trend and it, it definitely looks very similar but it's just the flow is more natural it's not like a huge pile compact uh, hair <laughs> and um to help with the youthness oh is it the word to help make her look uh kind of sporty and also like a teenager i had it uh little ponytails uh you can't really see the run uh, on her left side because it's pretty much hidden but you can also just picture her having just one side pony and i feel like it really helped 
bring the character to life and make her very like sporty kind of like sporty spice girl a little bit but i feel like it's just the vibe that comes with this character all i had in mind was just to make her kind of stylish and fun but also just stay true to the original the original design and uh yeah so that was how i worked with everything for the actual drawing and uh, the pose and everything and then I decided to use Copic marker for the coloring because um, the first one I did was with pencils a long time ago then I did it on computer and so I figured hey I mean either watercolors or just using Copic markers and using Copic is a lot is just a lot faster so that's what I did and uh, in terms of color I will list them in the description below the video I tried also to stay as close as I could be um, because I'm still using like blue jeans I'm still using purples for the jacket um, the original artwork had a bit more of a it's more green bluish I don't know like it's, it's like an off turquoise like an like a grayish turquoise I could have used my B um, my G7 T7 278 but I didn't want to actually um, the jacket I feel like was just too similar to the blue jean color I figured it would be just be um, a lot better to have a bit more contrast and to use green or I guess like a, a green like an olive green base jacket would work nicely with the blue jean and also with the hair because um, technically, you know, if I was shading uh, like bronze or gold, I will also use a bit of green into it. So I feel like it worked better and I still use blue in the shadows and basically the entire artwork I've actually um, used a blue pencil to ink the piece in the end there's no black and uh, yeah it has a nice undertone of blue everywhere and also on the skin I feel like it, it really gives an interesting uh, cohesive blend in the end and just more vivid and more realistic and overall I feel like I mean it's pretty obvious that I improved but I was actually I'm really happy with how it turned out um, definitely still a struggle to do the anatomy but I feel like I've improved a lot and uh, the only thing yeah the last thing that I've changed a lot also is the necklace because she had a very thick I don't know chucker kind of it's really strange it's just like a plaque it looks really heavy in the original uh, character design so I've just changed that to a nice um, flat choker with the little uh, oval like a gem type of thing and it still gives you like the the idea of her being slightly at leisure kind of classy but sporty and so I, mean, I also had it a, a wristband because it just has a little reminder of the the bra and everything and using the same color and i've kept also the same high color because i figured yeah blue eyes actually really look nice because it's just a reminder of the skirt color the hardest part was to definitely just redraw the character. It was definitely a lot of fun and I really want to do that more often. I have a lot of artwork that I want to redraw and see how I can update the character design, especially from this period of time when I was doing a lot of manga art from like 15 years ago. So if you'd like to see more of those videos, then don't forget to give a thumbs up and to comment below and tell me if you'd like this video because uh, it's been a lot of fun and it was really requested and I've uh, actually I've saw a lot of people on YouTube doing this and uh, especially like uh, Jenna drawing and I really really like her videos um, especially to draw this again because you can totally see the change of style and the improvement it's very interesting and so yeah uh, I'm really really happy with that she looks completely different but it's still the same girl and I actually haven't found a name for her because I've I mean, when I was doing those manga type of character, I actually never thought of names. So yeah, maybe you can actually name her in the comment section and tell me like, what name should uh, she have? Is it how you say it? What name should it be? Or how do you want to name her? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't speak English. I'm French, so I'm trying my best. I think I covered pretty much what I wanted to say. So if for some reason you actually want to get this artwork, the original is available in my SC store. But if you want to print, you can always request it and I will make it for you. Anyway, that's basically it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss my next uploads. I post every Saturday slash Sunday. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye bye guys.